In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at working with this image to create a really stunning uh, black and white version. Now, if I just um, quickly desaturate this image, Control Shift U, you'll see. Well, that's a quick uh, black and white solution, but we're going to look to take it a bit, uh, a bit further and really bring out all the details in their faces and just give the image some nice contrast. So we'll go. We'll start off. We'll go into our Master Looks folder. And we'll scroll down to the bottom and we're simply going to apply black and white normal to play on that action and then we'll go back up to the top of the master contrast folder and click on flatten image so now our background image is uh, a black and white version of the original so now we can add more effects on top of uh, the black and white image so what we want to try now is we want to Let's add a bit of uh, HDR, so we'll try HDR light to start off with. Okay, we'll have a look at HDR strong. Okay, I think we'll work with HDR strong, but we'll just lower the opacity down a bit. Uh, let's try about 30% is good. Next, I want to reduce some of the highlights. You can see on this lady's forehead, it's a bit blown out. Uh, in, and in his hair here, so we can go to uh, highlight reduce strong, click play, and we'll test this at 100% opacity. It's not bad. We'll bring it above the HDR layer, bring the opacity down. We'll bring the HDR back up some more. Okay, that's looking good. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply some more contrast. Let's have a look at some of the crunch it uh, actions here. What I might do first is flatten these layers. So if we go to the top mask contrast folder and click on flatten image. Now we'll go ahead and apply uh, some of these actions. That one's quite nice. Number two bit strong for what we want. Number three, number four. Okay, so let's work with number one. Just lower the opacity down a bit. And I'll play the highlight reduce strong one more time to reduce some of these highlights again. I'll bring this opacity up a bit higher. Okay, so now let's have a look at this top action inside the Master Contrast folder called Enhance It. This will generally sharpen the image and add more contrast and brightness. So we'll see what result this gives us. Okay, it's a little too strong for what we want. So now let's apply some more contrast. So let's try Strong contrast heavy vignette. We'll bring this up to low order. That's pretty nice. And we'll drag the opacity to zero and we'll it's I think about thirty percent's pretty good. I think we're getting close. So now let's apply uh, a vignette around this image. So at the top of the master contrast folder we can click on vignette. And we'll just drag the radius of the vignette in a bit. And we'll bring the opacity down of that layer. Okay, I think this is looking good. So let's go ahead and now sharpen the image. So if we click on Finish Sharpen, play that action. We'll have a look at a radius of 1. We'll drag the amount up. I think this is looking good. Okay, so there we have it. Now if I import our original uh, image over the top, and I'll just turn the, uh, the visibility of the layer off and on, you'll see the before and after effect.
Now if I just rasterize this layer and I just control shift U to desaturate it. So here's the difference between a quick solution and one that we put a bit of time into making sure all the details come out nicely. It's nice contrast. Uh, none of the highlights are too blown out. Uh, the, the image is just balanced well.